hi everyone let's provide the solution to this problem right here this is r to the power of 3 plus r to the power of 2 equals 12 okay this is simple and um, here is what I want us to do let's pick this 12 and say that 12 is equal to 8 plus 4 okay if you pick 12 to be 6 plus 6 it will not work because 6 plus 6 cannot be in this form so in place of a and 12 now we're going to write 8 plus 4 so we have r to the power of 3 plus r to the power of 2 being equal to 8 plus 4 Okay, if you go ahead, r to the power of 3 plus r to the power of 2 shall be 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 2 on the other side. Now we can compare this and this. Okay, by the way, if you have not subscribed, subscribe so you can get more of my videos. Now let this and this come together r to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then plus we have this and this together that is r squared this becomes minus 2 squared now there is nothing on the right hand side so we have to put 0 there this can be grouped then factorized so we are going to deal with this this is difference of two cubes imagine you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this will be equal to a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared and then this one here is our regular difference of two squares Okay, where if you have a squared minus b squared, this will be a minus b into a plus b, difference of two squares. So in place of this, I'm going to write it, I'm going to write something like this. So our a minus b becomes r minus 2 into a squared is going to be r squared plus AB, that will be R times 2, and it's 2R, then plus B squared, that will be 2 squared now, and it's 4. Plus, here again, we have difference of 2 squares, and that will give us R minus 2 into R plus 2, everything is equal to 0. Now, we are going to factorize because we have r minus 2 and we have r minus 2 both of them are the same so they have the same common factor then here we have this r squared plus 2r plus 4 then plus here we have that r plus 2 and everything is equal to 0 Imagine that you open this bracket again, it's going to give you this one back. If it does not, that means we have made a mistake. Now let's open these two brackets. R minus 2 is still going as a common factor. To open this, we're going to have R squared. Then 2R plus 1R will give us 3R. Plus 4 plus 2 will give 6 then we equate this to zero now we are multiplying these two to get zero and that means that either of this must be equal to zero so it's either this is zero or this is zero so we have r minus two to be zero meaning that our r minus two plus two is equal to zero plus two what i have done is to you know add the additive inverse of minus 2 
So we have R now to be 0 plus 2, and that is 2. This is one of the solutions. But then, if you look at this, you're going to have a quadratic expression. If you equate it to 0, it becomes a quadratic equation. So let's go there. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, we have our formula for quadratic equation as r equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, I know this r will sound somehow, but it's not every time that this have to be that this has to be x you know it depends on the constant or it depends on the variable in the equation like this equation the unknown variable is r so that will be the subject of the formula now what is our a a is 1 b is 3 c is 6 let's put those into this formula our r will now be minus 3 because b is 3 plus or minus square root of b squared which will be 3 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 if you can remember then times 6 because c is 6 then we divide this by 2 times 1 a is still 1 i have now will be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 4 times 1 times 6 is 24 then we divide this by 2 because 2 times 1 is 2 okay so r will now be minus 3 plus or minus square root of negative 15 then we divide by 2 now, if we go ahead, our r will be minus 3 plus or minus. This negative here will give us imaginary i. Then we have root 15 there divided by 2. Now, our r from here will be minus 3 plus i root 15 over 2 or minus 3 minus i root 15 over 2 okay let's bring the three solutions together very quickly we have r1 the first one is 2 then our r2 is this particular one minus 3 plus i root 15 divided by 2 then our r3 our r3 is minus 3 minus i root 15 divided by 2. So these are the three solutions to the equation.